Let's start with the most basic question. Yes, there's plastic in the oceans. That part isn't news. But before we ask, can microbes digest it? We first need to ask, what exactly are they trying to digest? To answer that, we need to zoom out. And we'll look at what happened to all the plastic humanity has ever produced. Plastics were invented a little over a century ago. And since then, global production has grown exponentially reaching a total of 8.3 billion metric tons manufactured to date. Now here's what that really means. That's more than 1,000 kilograms per person alive today. And since most plastic isn't reused, about 600 to 700 kilograms of that becomes waste per capita. Out of all the plastic ever produced, 55% was discarded after a single use. Only about 6% has ever been effectively recycled. Roughly 10% was incinerated, and just under 2.5 billion tons are still in use today. Temporarily, only about 6% has ever been effectively recycled, and that number is unlikely to improve dramatically. Why? Because most plastic isn't designed to be recycled. It's often mixed with other materials, colored with additives, or contaminated with food, oil, or organic waste. And even when we do recycle it, we usually can't make the same product again. A pet bottle becomes a fleece jacket. The jacket becomes insulation. And then, it ends up in a landfill anyway. Recycling delays the problem. It doesn't solve it. Which means, we've already accumulated about 4.9 billion metric tons of plastic waste. That's what we're dealing with. So, where is all that plastic now? According to current estimates, around 4 billion tons are stored in landfills stable but slowly accumulating. 800 to 900 million tons are dispersed across land environments, forests, soils, roadsides, agricultural zones. And about 100 to 200 million tons have made their way into marine environments. Let's pause on that second point. 800 to 900 million tons spread across land may not sound as dramatic as ocean garbage patches, but it matters. That's more than 100 kilograms per person, slowly degrading into micro and nanoplastics that enter food chains, groundwater, or air particles. In many places, it's no longer visible, but it hasn't disappeared. It's just become embedded in the system. As for what reached the oceans, that includes coastlines, estuaries, the open sea, and the deep ocean floor. These numbers aren't exact. Tracking is difficult, especially in countries without waste monitoring systems. And once plastic hits the ocean, good luck following it. It moves, it breaks, it sinks, it spreads. In relative terms, only a small fraction of global plastic waste ends up in the oceans. But in absolute terms, we're still talking about up to 200 million metric tons. Let's take a moment to visualize that. 200 million tons of plastic, that's the equivalent of 20,000 Eiffel Towers made entirely of polymer, or roughly a billion full bathtubs of floating debris. In shipping terms, that's the maximum payload of 1,500 fully loaded container ships, drifting across oceans, sinking to the seafloor, or fragmenting into particles we'll never recover. And that's just what's already in the water, not what's coming next. And here's the difference. Landfills might be messy, but they're contained. The ocean is not. Once plastic enters the marine environment, it becomes part of a global, diffuse system. It's fragmented by waves and UV radiation, spread by currents, and colonized by organisms. It becomes harder and harder to detect, let alone recover. Unlike a landfill, you can't isolate ocean plastic. It's diluted across depths and continents. Some of it floats, some of it sinks, some of it disappears from view, and that's what makes it so persistent. It's not just that it doesn't break down, it's that it disperses faster than we can track it. So, before we ask what microbes might do to help, we need to understand the physical behavior of plastic in the ocean. Where does it go once it's in the water? And why is the plastic we do find not where we expected it to be? That's what we'll explore in the next episode.